Hello YouTube, another cycling video here. I think it's a little bit overdue. I don't think I've done a cycling video for well over a week, possibly two now. Um, I've been working a lot, so I haven't really um, done any cycling much lately, to be honest. And um, I didn't get off to a good start this week. I haven't didn't get a lot of steps in, and very busy, so I didn't get any cycling in. So. Um, since I did a big session at the gym yesterday, I thought, you know, I think it's time to um, get some cycling in. So I thought I'd do a bigger one today. I mean, um, there are some days where I might only do two or three miles and that's it. But today I did um, eight and a quarter miles altogether. Uh, this video is just me going from South End Town Centre um, all the way to Belfast Park, uh, which is uh, four miles, nearly four miles. So, um, leaving South End now. So, um, at the beginning of the week, I didn't sleep too well. I got less than seven hours sleep on uh, Monday and Tuesday. Here we are. I've just been overtaken by a bike. That's not fair, though. I think he's probably got a motor on his or something. I'm not sure if he was Justy or Uber Eats, because um, a lot of them dudes have normally got, like, electric-powered bicycles or something. Um... So that they have to be fast because they have to get the deliveries there very quickly before um, they get too cold. I think, I mean, I've, I don't know, I've never worked as a delivery driver, but um, I think they have to have the food there in a certain amount of time. Otherwise, said person can say, I'm not paying for that, and then they still get the meal for free. So uh, Victor Avenue. Normally these lights are quite good. I don't normally have to wait at these lights. And um, I'm, this is this is downhill, so I'm getting some really good speed down here. I must be doing about 20 miles an hour or so. Um, this video is sped up three times, so um, I, I, I like these cycling videos to, to not be too long, really. So it's more digestible because... Um, like I'm going for a leisurely bike ride and there's some parts where I'm just cycling slow, literally five miles an hour or so, so um, the videos will be a lot longer. Um, so the eight and a quarter miles, um, I did that in an hour and five minutes. So for the whole eight mile run, I think my average speed was about 7.6 miles an hour. So it took me just over an hour to do it. Like I, said, I don't normally cycle for this long, but... Um, I weighed myself at the gym yesterday and I'm 149 and a half kilos or 329 pounds so I'm 23 and a half stone and so I have put a bit of weight on lately and my food hasn't changed so um, I've obviously been slacking off so um, time to make up for that now and burn some calories although I, I mainly do do this for restoration um, as well because uh, I was like, at the beginning of the week, Monday and Tuesday, I didn't sleep well. I got less than three hours sleep. Oh, sorry, I got less than seven hours sleep, which is low for me. Anything under seven hours is bad for me. But the last couple of days, I've had like eight and a half hours sleep, and I've slept really well. And um, I woke up this morning, I'd had eight and a half hours sleep. I slept really good. I had over eight and a half hours. Uh, but I just felt like rubbish when I woke up this morning where I had quite a big session yesterday and pushed the squat and all that and uh, did the trap bar deadlift. Even though it wasn't heavy, um, I did feel my quads from yesterday's exertions on the um, safety squat bar going up to 250 kilos. You can uh, view that video um, on my YouTube. And I did attempt 272 and a half kilos or 600 pounds, but unfortunately I failed. But yeah, I, I really felt it this morning, you know, you know um, I don't. I, I do lots of box squats, um, so I don't normally feel my quads on that. But where I've elected to squat without a box, and where I'm not used to it because it's an exercise I've not done for a while, I certainly did feel it. And I just, yeah, you know, I just felt. Woke up this morning, just felt like absolute rubbish. Um, it took me about half hour just to get out of bed. Actually, I just. I, I literally could have slept all day today. I, I just, my body just did not want to wake up this morning. 
So I finally got out of bed, had some food. I had um, jacket potatoes with cheese, just over 500 grams of potatoes. Cheese was 94 grams. And I had two chicken fillets. Um, so that was, uh, I think, um, just over 1,100 calories altogether, just one meal. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, my first meal is normally my biggest. And, uh, yeah, I had that. And, um, yeah, I've... I just feel really sluggish. Well, I, I did feel really sluggish when I woke up, and um, my body just didn't want to get out of bed. And uh, in the end, I forced myself out of bed and um, just dragging myself around. And uh, I thought, you know, I'll go for a bike ride. And after I finished this, I f- felt a lot better. Anyway, I've just been passed by another bike. But now, I don't think he had an electric motor on his or something so I've got no excuses but again like I said I'm just going for a leisurely ride I'm, I'm not pushing it so um, that's why he got ahead of me so <laughs> but yeah um, oh, like I, said, I felt much better after this bike ride I do need to buy some sort of stabiliser or something because um, this video is moving around a lot really so I'm going to look into Maybe getting a GoPro or something, so I hopefully can make these cycling videos a bit better. So at this point, I'm about two and a half miles out. Um, I'm actually in Leon C now, heading towards Belfares. But yeah, after I did this bike ride, I did feel a lot better. You know, it loosened me up and. I felt good after it so you know exercise really is um, you know it is a good, it is good for you it does make you feel better um, certainly does me and hopefully I won't I mean I weigh myself normally once a week on a Sunday so um, hopefully I'll have lost a bit this time I would like to log press 150 kilos or 330 pounds. That's one of my goals. But I want to stay under that weight because I want to be able to lift more than my own body weight overhead. So if I go over 330 pounds, even if I get, even if I log press 330, if it's less than my body weight, then um, that's not what I really want. You know, I'd like to be able to log press 150 kilos but weigh less than that, so that I can say that I've. Uh, lifted more than my own body weight overhead because that's something I've never done in my lifetime I think the nearest I've ever got to that is probably about six I've come within six pounds of that so about two years ago I log pressed 145 kilos or 320 pounds it's the best log press I've ever done it's the most I've ever lifted overhead but at the time I weighed about 148 or 149 kilos so I think I weighed about 326 or 328 something like that so the log press the log was actually about six or eight pounds less than my body weight. So it's, it, yeah, it's, it's a goal that I'd like to tick off. It, it's something I've never done. And, you know, I'd feel great about that to actually be able to lift more than my body weight overhead. Uh, one of my goals was to lift a sandbag from the floor onto my shoulder that's more than my weight. And I finally did that um, a few months back when I lifted a 150 kilo sandbag from the floor to my shoulder. And I think I weighed about 147 kilos when I did it. So that sandbag was three kilos heavier than me. So that's another one that I've ticked off. I I will try and um, attempt a 160 kilo or 350 pound sandbag soon. Um, I've got a friend that's got one. So I'm going to go to his gym and have a go at that. And if I can do it, new personal best. So quite a bit traffic-y. We're nearly here at Belfair's Park now. Um... For some reason, there's a lot of traffic here. I don't know why. I don't know if there's roadworks further on. I just went into the park, so I never got to find out what these road work, what this um, traffic was all about, why there was a big queue. So, coming to the video now. Coming to the end of the video now, and uh, just going to stop here and relax on the bench and chill before I head back to South End again. Quick little bike. So I got to Belfast Park now. 
3.8 miles it's taken me uh, just over 30 minutes so average speed 7.6 miles per hour so just going at a leisurely pace oh, it's lovely out today.